Hello and welcome to another episode of Junior Fisherman. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about keeping a fishing log. Now, keeping a fishing log is something that I think most fishermen should do. Um, it can be extremely helpful. I have kept this one for probably a year and I have jotted down basically some information about when I catch a fish and whatnot. That's literally what a fishing log is. It is a notebook. This happens to be a one that is made for that, as you can see. And it has in it um, fishing for date, time, weather, locations, fishing companions, tackle bait, lures used, and fish stories, biggest total catch, etc. So this is what I have been keeping a fishing journal in. I have had a few before, kept them for like a month or so, but not really use them. Now, you can use any sort of notebook. I like this kind of book style, um, as opposed to a flip one, but it's really whatever your personal preference is. Catch a fish after your fishing trip or, trip, or if you bring it. Jot down some stuff about it. This was when we went up to Fayette Lake, um, fishing a tournament. I see. I just wrote down fishing for bass, weather, hot, with blue sky, locations, Fayette Lake, tackle bait, lures, use swim jigs, um, and then biggest total catch. Uh, my dad caught a 17-inch bass. I caught a 16 and a half inch bass, and it's simply that. Now, when you look back, you can say, "Hmm, last time we were at Fayette Lake, it was hot with a blue sky, and we caught them on swim jigs." in the grass. So this is what it's essentially, this is what a fishing log is for. When you go back to a location like that, you can look back and you can say, hmm, I've been there. Let's see. That's what I used. This conditions, it caught fish. It's simply a way of producing a pattern and being able to write that pattern down so you have it. So then like I've written down over the year, I've kept it probably. Um, about fishing for bass and I found that when it's hot with a blue sky we have caught bass consistently on Texas rigged plastic worms and swim jigs. So now I have a pattern whenever I go fishing and it is a hot and blue sky I don't have to stand there and be stumped to go hmm what in the world am I gonna fish? I can know I can start with a Texas rigged plastic worm or a swim jig and try one of those first and try both of those because I know that is a pattern I have caught fish on those before in these conditions. So that Really what the fishing journal is for. It allows you to log down your things so that you are able to go back and decipher a pattern for fishing that location. I've kept anything from salt water um, to carp fishing and most, and it's just interesting to go back and look, but you can see the patterns that you have. Now when I take a fishing journal log, when I log something down, I write what I'm fishing for, I write the date and time, I write the weather. Then I write the location, who I was fishing with, what I used. If I used multiple baits and caught them on only one of those baits, I write down that one bait. If I was fishing with multiple baits and caught them on a few different types of baits, I write down those few different types of baits. And then I go down and say what fish were caught. And a lot of times I'll go over here to a different page or the page next to it. Let me see if I can find an example of this. And I will draw something down. Um, like here's one for the uh, the ocean about casting me on the second breaker to catch fish. And I just jotted down a little thing I showed for waves saying where to cast to catch them. Um, that was when I was fishing for surf fishing, caught some in that area. Um, but let's see if I can find another one. Like, uh, here's drop shot worms. Drop, drop worms down the side of docks and banks. There are tons of fish there. That was one I wrote. And the one that I really like and that I've used to actual, actually catch fish before. This has actually helped me catch fish. This problem. The only problem with the fishing journal is a lot of times you're not going to have the slightest clue where stuff is. Aha. It says, at Blanco, which is a state park we fish at, Blanco State Park, the opposite to the bank where there is this tall grass, there is a spring there. 
so the fish congregate their throw as parallel as possible. So I drew right here. There's a tree you cast straight over, and, it's par and if you're in a boat, it's parallel. There's a spring that runs in, and the fish congregated there. That was the day I caught my biggest bass, four pounder, from that exact spot. However, if we flip over to a few fishing trips later, we can see that I was fishing for bass. It was midday, sunny and hot. Same conditions as when I caught my biggest bass, Blanco State Park. Now, what did I use? Let's see. I used, as always, as it says on my, uh, when I, that fish, that trip I caught in Biggest Bass, a watermelon zoom trickworm. Here I used a watermelon zoom trickworm. Same conditions and caught, ended up um, fishing in that same spot of Blanco because I went back and looked and saw that that was where they were congregating at that time in those conditions. Used the same bait and caught two nice size two to three pound bass. And that's how it works. It is very easy to keep and can help you catch a lot more fish. So the point of it is literally to be able to can write down some of the information you try to store in your head, allowing you to be able to find patterns and know what to use at different fishing trips at different locations. If you keep it long enough, you'll see patterns start to pop up like sunfish by best when it's hot sunny with a blue sky in shallow water on little grubs. I've got, you can look back and see patterns appearing and if you write down every fishing trip, pretty soon you'll have a general idea, a pretty good idea of what to throw in at different bodies of water. So that is how and why I would suggest keeping a fishing journal. You don't have to write down a ton of stuff. You can just jot down what you're fishing for, the date, the time, the weather, the locations, what you used and how many you caught. Uh, if you want to draw or if you want to write down where you were in different tips if you have a secret spot as in like the uh, spring that I found it you can write that down and it just helps because then you can go back and look and say hmm let's see these other four fishing trips I was fishing in these conditions at this spot used this and caught a bunch of bass I wonder what to use and you can use that and it's just a very easy and effective way to start catching more fish and to start deciphering patterns on your bodies of water that you fish the most. So there you go, that is how and why I keep a fishing journal. I suggest that you do if you haven't already, or if you did and stopped to start again. Otherwise, try keeping one, and you will be surprised how much it increases your catch rate. So thanks for watching, get out there, and catch some more fish.